this thing is so annoying but it's just temporary until we get like one of those little pull down things so that we don't have to keep rolling this thing up every single morning because the struggle is real for me blueberries have to be of a certain texture in order for me to eat it y'all i cannot do any kind of soft fruit if i can squeeze it and it's like mushy i can't eat it i have to save it for a smoothie is anybody else like that let me know Good morning, y'all, and welcome to the vlog. Y'all just saw me make this fruit salad. I'm trying to do better with my diet. School's out for summer, but I am taking summer classes this year, so I'm not really out. I just have like a couple of weeks of a break, and then I have to start classes again on June 6th. Last week was a nightmare for my finances, and if y'all don't know, I'm trying to graduate debt-free or with as little debt as possible so I am going to community college right now and I will be transferring to a university in the spring paying for college cash out of pocket today is only May 9th and my budget for the month of May has been completely cracked the reason why is because my car which is my biggest expense for the month <sighs> Y'all are about to figure out how trifling I am right now. Let me just tell you the story. So two years ago in 2020, my check engine light came on for my car. I went to my cousin's shop because he is a mechanic. He was checking on my car trying to figure out why the light was on. Apparently, I had a crack in my thermostat. He told me it wasn't an emergency, but, you know, whenever I can, just get it fixed. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking, okay, it's not an emergency. I don't want to do that. That thing is like $500. So I didn't do it. So I went all of 2020, the rest of 2020, with my check engine light on. And then you know how you got to get your tags renewed for your car? Miraculously, y'all, two days before the date that I had to go get my tags renewed for my car, my check engine light was off. So I shot up to the place where you get your tags done and got my car inspected and it passed inspection because my check engine light was not on. Woke up the very next day, the check engine light was back on. So I went all of 2021 with my check engine light on, but it was okay because I had my tags renewed for my car. So I wasn't really caring like that. Fast forward to last week on Monday. Last week on Monday, I go get an oil change and a couple of hours after my oil change, my car starts overheating. It started overheating to the point where it was actually flashing red, which meant that I needed to pull over, turn the car off, and just let it cool down. So I did that. Wednesday of last week, took my car to the shop. My car was overheating because a little crack that was in my thermostat, yeah, it had completely broke. It was, it was broken. So my car was literally overheating. It was like $500 to fix that crack in that thermostat and then the oil change on top of that was like $102. So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is already 600 something dollars. It's only the first week of May and I have a payment for my summer courses on the 27th of this month. And the payment for my three summer courses is just under $1,000. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I then blew my budget in one week. And I haven't even paid for my classes for the summer. So right now, what me and you are going to do is get this budget together before I start my day today. Because I don't need to be spending money, period. Oh, you may be wondering how do I get my money. I do work part-time in retail. 
and then I also do YouTube which I get checks from and then also I do personal assistant duties like mail outs and stuff like that for a local realty team having a budget for me is really important my school payments right now are like the biggest thing that I'm focusing on because I don't want to go into debt unnecessarily if I don't have to so I'm going to list out here no spend days I have kind of started laying out my budget for the month last night so I have some notes here written in pencil but nothing in pen yet so we have Sunday here, which was a no spend day. I didn't spend any money. Spent $104.92 on an oil change. And also I had a, a withdrawal from my checkings account, like automatically for a medical bill that I had. So that's $28.13. And then Tuesday I had a no spend day, but $12.99 was taken out from another subscription that I have. And this one is important. It's called Canva. I used it for my YouTube thumbnails. So this is a must. And that's obviously a must. I have to pay my medical bills. Wednesday, I did spend $38 on the Mother's Day gift that I got my mom and Grammy. And then Thursday was the day that I paid for my car repair, which is $4.90, basically $500. And then Friday was a no-spend day, and Saturday was a no-spend day for me. So, I have highlighted here the days that I get paid. I have the 14th, and then I have the 25th, or the 28th, sorry. And that's because from my retail job, I get paid every two weeks. And then on YouTube, where is it? Right here. I get paid on the 22nd to 23rd, usually. I'm getting three paychecks this month, and I have big old expenses this month, too. So my school payment, it will be $810. And then I do have a savings goal for this month, which is $250. But I don't know if that's happening because all of this extraness that I wasn't expecting happened this month. And then I also have here a $70 subscription for my lashes because I do get my lashes done. But I'm thinking that going forward, I'm going to have to just cancel the lash subscription from Amazing Lash Studio because I did find a local small business like near my area that um it's like a salon and they do hair lashes nails like all that stuff and it's a lot cheaper and it's not a subscription so i can just go in to get my lashes done whenever i need to for cheaper than absolutely having to pay that 70 dollars subscription every month so i'm thinking that's gonna have to go and then i was also looking at my bank statements or my card statements on my little app that i have for why, am I, why is my mind blanking? For my bank account, the app that I have for my bank account, I look at that every day, y'all, because I don't want any surprises, and I like to know how much I have. I'm so serious about this debt-free degree journey, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I don't want to have to pay off debt for 25 years. I'm just about to go in here, calculate my no-spend days, and I'm going to try to be realistic with it, too, because I don't want to just set myself up for failure. Alright y'all, so I just did the calculations and last week I spent $661.05. That is entirely too much. <sighs> but it was necessary. I didn't really buy anything unnecessary. Whenever you have issues with your car, you just have to get it fixed. So I'm not going to beat myself up about that. So since I spent so much money last week, I'm giving myself, I'm going to challenge myself. I don't want to spend more than $60 this week, period. $60. That's going to be my weekly spend challenge because in two weeks, I'm going to have to pay my school payment. So we'll see at the end of the week. This calendar is looking like um, I was going to do my whole month, like a whole monthly overview, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to set myself up for failure because it's just a lot easier to take it week by week and do many challenges, at least for me. Can we just talk about how clean and cute my bathroom is look at how crisp everything is yes and if you're wondering what this stuff is on my door it's like a some kind of a filler like wood filler i think and we have to shave it down and repaint it white so yes my mom is back at it with her home renovation thingies DIY version of course but anyways I'm getting ready to film a video right now but I wanted to show y'all my pajamas so if you watched my last weekly vlog then you saw that I got some pajamas from Target 
long sleeve and then it also has like shorts that go along with it like this isn't this so cute and it's super comfortable i will most likely be keeping this on all day because it's so comfortable i got the best night's sleep last night when i was wearing this i'm very happy with my purchase anyway i'm about to go ahead and get ready to film a video because i need to film and edit today and upload a vlog because yesterday i didn't upload one i really want to film like a makeup video but i need to um fill in my lashes because they look a mess right now so i'm gonna just use these little lash trios that i got from i think target or something like that normally i like to use like these little individual ones but these are just a lot faster because instead of having just one lash there's three lashes on a cluster as opposed to just one y'all so it has been a couple of hours since i last vlogged i finished filming my video i got dressed and now i'm headed out to main squeeze which is like a juicing place because i want to get a green juice and i know that it's supposed to be like a no spend day or whatever but i just got a notification on my phone saying that i have points from there so i get a juice for free so i want to go out and get myself a little green juice Oh my gosh it is so hot outside y'all it has to be in the 80s it must be let me actually check 90 it is 90 degrees right now i discovered this place main squeeze like back in january whenever i was doing my little juice cleanse so if y'all don't know i have a video about it by the way i did like a 21 day juice fast juice cleanse what is that noise Oh, so it was my, my perfume in here. But, yeah, so I discovered Main Squeeze from, like, back in January, like I was saying, whenever I was doing that juice cleanse. I didn't drink, I didn't eat any food for 21 days. I know it sounds crazy. If you didn't see that vlog, I'll link it. But I discovered the place then, but I ended up getting, like, a set of juices from Pressed Juice. And also, I got a set from squeezed but during that time i found this place called main squeeze and i ended up trying some of their juices and i actually really like their juice the best because it tastes the most like a juice that i would make at home so i really need to get a car mount so that i can like vlog while i'm talking but i just don't want to do that right now but yeah, that's where I discovered Main Squeeze. I really like their juices, especially their green juice. They have this juice called Glow. I'm going to show y'all the menu and stuff whenever I get there. So, never mind. Let me just show you when I get there because it's hard for me to talk and drive at the same time. I already am not the best driver in the world. So, hold on one second so I don't get into a wreck. I'm back again I'm not there yet but I'm almost there so I feel comfortable enough to set my camera up and stuff but I just want to be honest to have an honest moment with y'all I'm not having the best day I don't know what it is but I'm just having a really moody type of day I don't really feel motivated at all to do anything in fact I feel like like I want to just go home take my makeup off and crawl into my bed Luckily, I actually finished like filming my video for the day. That's due on Wednesday. I'm saying due like I have to turn it in. I'm, I want to upload it on Wednesday, so it's due on Wednesday technically. But 
I'm glad that I was able to push through and do that, but it was a struggle to film that video, y'all. I don't know. I just, I don't feel good. That's just the best way I can describe it. I don't feel ill. I don't feel sick or anything, but I just don't feel into it. I don't feel like the Monday, the Monday, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. That's how you know I'm just not really feeling it. I don't even know what to say. But I'm here now. The place has a drive-through, thank goodness. Because if it didn't have a drive-through, I probably would never come. This is the menu right here. I've tried pretty much everything on this menu. But I have to say my favorite juices that they have are the Glow and the Detox. Let me try to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. So the Glow has apple cucumber kale and spinach just right there and then the detox has filtered water lemon agave and activated charcoal those are the two best things on the entire menu just my personal opinion so if you're into juicing but you don't have time to juice yourself this is a good place to come to i also like squeezed and pressed was okay to me main squeezed and squeezed are the best places to get your juices so that's why I'm here and I have a rewards member account with them so I'm getting my juice for free today on my no spend day <laughs> hello Hi. can I get the glow and the detox it's all for you? yes thank you right. just got my juices y'all so this is what the detox one looks like this tastes so good and then this is the glow i would say whenever i make these juices at home i kind of just like to replicate some of the ingredients that they have and for green juice this is definitely my go-to even whenever i make it at home all these ingredients right here the apple cucumber kale lemon spinach really good together and it tastes fresh and just brand new they actually have like expiration dates on it that's how you know that they're actually making it and it's not like very many preservatives and stuff like that in it this one it says sell by march 10th and today is the 9th so does it say what day that they made it no it doesn't but anyways that's my theory that's how you know that it's fresh because it expires tomorrow you can't just keep these on the shelves and sell them for weeks at a time main squeeze y'all check it out if you haven't already so I just came from my room and I saw this thing in the corner of my eye and I have goosebumps y'all. Look at my, you can't even see because the camera's not focusing, but I have goosebumps right now. Do you see that? Look at that spider. Why is it so big? I don't know what to do. It's moving, it's moving fast and it is huge. I don't want to kill it on the wall. I just need to, um... Maybe get some kind of a spray. I have this thing, it's for, it's this raid stuff. It's supposed to be for wasps and hornets, but I'm just gonna spray it on there anyway because I don't wanna squish it on the wall. Okay, where'd it go? Okay, I see it. Ugh, this stuff is not coming out. Okay, it just fell into this bag. I don't even want to look. I don't want to look. This bag that I got my mom for Mother's Day. I'm I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to look in there. catch y'all up on my day this morning i chilled until 12 12 o'clock i had to go to work got off at 7 30. we went to dinner at 8 o'clock and now we're here at the gas station getting gas and that's the update for tuesday hey y'all it is um thursday i think first of all let me try to park real quick this is like my first time picking up the camera 
all day today and yesterday i didn't vlog at all um i just didn't really do anything yesterday so y'all didn't miss anything it's like literally six o'clock probably and i just now got out of the house i just ran to best buy real quick because i had to go pick up another one of those little um like sd cards y'all see how i just completely annihilated the thing trying to get this thing open but i needed a new one this time i got 126 or what no 128 gigabytes because the one that i had before was only 64 and it's just not cutting it so i just need to get another one i have been literally laying in my bed all day today i didn't do anything i remember how on monday i was telling y'all i wasn't really feeling good or like i just wasn't really feeling motivated or whatever yeah it carried on it's been this entire week so monday y'all saw what i did i was vlogging i was feeling kind of like down i don't know why i just don't feel motivated to be productive at all and that is the issue with me right now. Tuesday was okay. I went to work and then we went to dinner. It was nice. And then Wednesday, yesterday, just came right back. Like, I just felt really bad. I don't know why I'm feeling really bad and just, like, unmotivated and all that. But that's how I'm feeling. Today, yesterday, I feel like it carried on until today because yesterday I was having one of these days, just a bad day, and I was beating myself up about it all day long, and I didn't allow myself to just kind of relax a little bit and try to fix it or just see like what's wrong with me. So that ended up making me unproductive, and then today it rolled over because I felt bad about not doing anything yesterday and not being productive. And today I took like a slow morning so this morning i didn't really do anything i just sat in my bed watching tv and i never watched tv y'all but i was watching netflix like netflix netflix not just shows but movies i was watching movies it was a movie today and i'm just sitting there and i'm just like an hour goes by two hours go by three hours go by next thing i know it's like 12 one o'clock and i'm still laying in the bed like that is unlike me i don't really know what i want to do i don't know if i want to continue the vlog or just end it right here you know what you know what i'm gonna do i've been eating pretty healthy i hate to admit it but i am definitely what you would call an emotional eater i think i'm about to just go try to find something to eat right now and i know that it's gonna be bad for me but hey it's gonna help it's gonna make me feel better i think i want to go to starbucks get a coffee because i haven't done that oh like with my little spending challenge y'all my um so far this week, the only thing that I've spent money on was that little SIM card thing that I just showed y'all. Or SD card, not a SIM card. SD card that I just showed y'all, and it was $42. So, I want to only spend $60 this week. My gas tank is full. My boyfriend filled it up for me on Tuesday, so I didn't have to pay for my gas this week. But, so what is that? How much do I have left to spend? I cannot do math in my head right now, but um, I spent $42 on this little SD card thing. So, little $8 coffee. I'm just going to add that to the tab. Starbucks, what can I get for you today? Can I get a tall iced white mocha? Thank you. Thanks. gorgeous so i got this tall ice white mocha extra salted caramel foam on top almond milk no whipped cream and extra caramel drizzle mm. i have not memorized what the order is because i discovered this drink while watching this girl's youtube channel i don't even remember her name but she does like a whole bunch of taste test videos and she did a subscriber chooses my starbucks drinks for a week or something like that and then i discovered this and i thought oh my goodness whoever her subscribers are they know what they're talking about when it comes to drinks so i've been ordering this ever since and i would say it is worth every red cent of that eight dollars maybe not every week but you know we're having a little treat yourself moment today Mm. But anyway, I kind of just wanted to talk to y'all and just kind of lift the spirits up of this video because I really don't like to just burden y'all with my issues and my problems because I do know that I'm blessed ultimately and I'm okay and thank God for that. But 
Sometimes I have my days and I had a comment, but it wasn't even a comment, it was a DM actually. And somebody said that my life just looks so perfect and that I'm just so smart, I'm such an intelligent young lady and I just know where my life is going to go and just all this, like giving me praise for all that. But the truth is I don't. I try to plan, I try to do the best that I can, but sometimes I still have those days where I feel just really insecure about the trajectory of my life and... This week has just been, it's been more than a day this week. It's been Monday, Wednesday, and today. So it's been three days that I've just been feeling kind of down in the dumps about all of that stuff. And I have decided I'm not going to let this take over me. I am going to stay the course. I'm going to be grateful for where I am and just know that I'm not always going to feel like this. Like, I don't understand how some for some people college is just the time of their life it is definitely not the case for me i'm not having fun i don't even think high school was that fun for me to be honest when i was in high school i looked forward to being in college and being able to you know create my own schedule and everything and now that i'm in college i'm looking forward to being out of college and i'm just i don't like that i'm getting into the habit of not being okay where i'm at i'm afraid that once i get out of college and i get all those things that i want am i going to be happy then or am I still going to be thinking that there are, there's more that I need to achieve? So I need to really just like calm myself down a little bit and just live and be happy and just be a normal 20 year old. And I have to stop thinking about 45 year old things because it stresses me out. I get stressed very easily if y'all couldn't tell because I just I feel things. I feel emotions so intensely that any little thing could like just trigger me into like a sadness so i need to just stop if y'all could do me a favor though comment down below if you like the weekly vlogs like a couple of days into one vlog or if you like just vlogs of what one day was like let me know because i'm curious i feel like whenever i do polls most of y'all don't care but if you do care and you watch all the way to the end comment down below and let me know what your preference is so that i can know going forward i'm going to share with y'all some of my favorite faith related podcasts before i close off this vlog because i also have been listening to those while i was laying in bed being sad and it kind of helped me get out of my funk a little bit and just to go ahead and get up and get out of bed because at first i just planned on staying in my bed all day one of my favorite ones to listen to is called transformation church and then another one that i listen to is as for me in my house by jordan and melena she's a youtuber i watch her channel sometimes she's more of like a family vlogger and i really find some helpful nuggets that they share sometimes and then another one that i like to listen to is called cultivating her space this podcast is specifically cultivated for black women it's just basically a whole bunch of uplifting conversations for black women this one is not faith-based but i just found this podcast to be helpful for my mental health period and it's really nice because the two women on this podcast are black and they understand my life experience and i'm sure most of y'all watching are black too so if you haven't listened to cultivating her space then i really recommend y'all check out the podcast all right y'all so that is all that i have for you this week i'll talk to y'all in my next one and i'm out